Ellie, what's the first news? Our first bit of news is out of Britain. A pair is arrested over a plot to kill a female relative who renounced Islam. Uh, so two men in their 50s and late 40s um, have been arrested in Britain over a female relative who left Britain to go to Slovenia uh, with her husband and uh, she also left Islam. So they had been plotting to kill her. They had done a whole bunch of uh, strange things, made video calls. So there's a lot of proof that they were doing this. Um, and so that this murder plot that they were building up had stretched not only from Britain, but back to people at home in Afghanistan and also to where she was in Slovenia. So, um, <laughs> so the authorities had been looking for them for a while and uh, finally they were arrested. The relative who they were trying to kill was 25 years old, by the way. There's so much trouble to kill one person because they left Islam. Yes. It's a lot of planning. It, also, uh, the family is originally from Afghanistan. I don't know if I said that. Yeah, There's a few different countries that play here. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Slovenia, yeah. Afghanistan, and the United Kingdom. It's weird. Um, but uh, by the way, for people that say that this is not Islamic, this is this, this is as Islamic as you could get, right? There are some things that people blame on Islam, and it's not really Islam. This one is definitely Islam. Killing apostates, killing people that live Islam. There's multiple Sahih Hadiths, and this is authentic Hadith in Bukhari and Sahih Muslim, which is basically as, uh, uh, it's only second to the Quran when it comes to authority. Most of Islamic laws, most Islamic rules come from the Hadith, not the Quran. And this is the most um, authentic Hadith. These, there's multiple places where it specifically says that the blood, you have to kill people that leave Islam. So if anybody tells you that this is not Islam, then almost 90% of what we know about Islam goes out the window with the Hadith. Um, so yeah, but this is, thank you for who, who thanks to the police, the UK police, right? For stopping this. Yes. Before. Yeah. Good job. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. But yeah, uh, it, it's, it's weird that people like, look, look at the amount of obsession that people had. Like, why, why do you feel like they, like, could they not like, they were constantly thinking like, look at how much it bothered them. Somebody left Islam. And they could have just been like, oh, fuck it. And like, Allah will take care of it. But they were so obsessed with it. They had to take care of it. Like it was bothering their mind. Think about how much it was bothering them that they had to make all these plans to go just kill somebody. They couldn't, they couldn't just let it go. Like, wh why? Do you know, how were they related to the Yikon? It actually went like as far as them blacking out all the windows of their home uh, so that nobody could see what it was they were planning inside. I mean, this was very extensive. They put some winter tires on their vehicles so that they could uh, drive to both countries wow. um, and do what law enforcement believed were surveillance trips. So, um, yeah, like this was this was an elaborate plot here. The poor woman. This is scary. Um, all right, uh, Shobham, what do you think? This is the top comments as well. Man, I, I don't know what to say. I mean, this is the craziest work. Islam, I guess. I mean, I, I don't really have much to say. I mean, it, it is, it is, let me dumbfound. This two going around for that one woman. Yeah. This is. <laughs> this is nuts. I, they should make a movie out of this. Uh, Andrew. Yeah. Andrew is saying they love their relatives to pieces. Um, Adam is saying their religion is one of one of the one of I think this is not right. One of peace and empowering to women. Um, Antonia saying believe what I believe or die. This planet needs to be nuked. Time for a new life to start at ground zero. Ah, that's a bit extreme. Uh, JT is saying such a peaceful religion that Islam is. That joke is getting too old, guys. Come up with new material. Yeah. the better one. Come up with new material. Um, Chris is saying, "Glad Armin is bringing attention to this." Well, it's not me. It's the other, like the first of all, Anna. Thank you for Anna because she picks the news. She's the one that brings attention to this. But yeah, thank you, Chrissy. But guys, like Atheist Republic is a team effort, right? I just show up and just read what people, the entire team, has prepared for me. Okay, so let's give credit to the entire team. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. 
If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.